All right. Good afternoon, everyone. I am so fortunate as a Smith Maneuver Certified Mortgage Professional to be able to have someone who I call a friend and someone who is the guru of Smith Maneuver, which is Robinson Smith here with me today. Just to, uh, you know, I have my take as a mortgage broker. Robinson has his take because he helps certify mortgage brokers, realtors, accountants, financial professionals. And so we want to get Robinson's take from that perspective of how he interprets the Smith Maneuver and what it can do for you as a homeowner or as a homeowner who is also an investor in real estate or other investments. Yeah, well, thanks for having me on, Keith. Uh, um, I appreciate it. Uh, it's, always, it's always great to have the opportunity to speak with uh, Smith Maneuver certified professionals um, so that they can get word out to their prospects or, or client base. Uh, basically, Keith, as, as you know, having gone through the Smith Maneuver Certified Professional Accreditation Program, I don't, I'm not telling you anything new, but uh, the Smith Maneuver is a mortgage conversion strategy. It's a debt conversion strategy. And I'll get into it in a, little set, in a moment, but the reason why it's, it's potentially so valuable for Canadian homeowners, uh, there's a number of reasons. We are consistently within or near the top five highest tax paying citizenry on the planet. We spend more on tax, uh, federal, provincial, and municipal at the pump, at the till, than we do on food, clothing, and shelter combined, the basic necessities for simple survival. So we don't, we don't have it easy as Canadians. We've got high taxation. We've got expensive mortgages, even at low rates. Mortgage takes a big chunk of our uh, paycheck on a monthly basis. So because of the expense of life, uh, not to mention inflation, recent 4%, we're unable to uh, start putting money aside for our, for our future. Uh, most of us have a plan to eventually retire uh, and take life a little slower, easier. Uh, but because of the expense of life, cost of our mortgages, we, we can't put enough away. And so we end up with a number of uncertainties as we approach retirement. Um, are we going to have enough to live on? Do we uh, need to look at a reverse mortgage? Are we going to have to be reliant on our children? Are we going to have to work in our retirement? So all of these so sort of prospects, which we're not terribly looking forward to, uh, they're happening to us. We're experiencing them because we simply can't afford to put enough away. So the Smith Maneuver, what it does is if you're a Canadian homeowner, we know that if you borrow uh, to buy a house, when you get a mortgage, the interest on that is not tax deductible. It's one of the reasons it's so expensive. But the Smith Maneuver allows us to convert that non-deductible debt to tax deductible debt. And through this process, um, we're reducing our tax bill, obviously. So we're improving our cash flow. And because we're, we're investing with the reasonable expectation of generating income and generating these tax deductions, we're able to take this tax relief and prepay our mortgage at least on an annual basis with, with a tax refund, for example. So we're getting out of that expensive non-deductible mortgage much quicker than otherwise possible. And the only reason we're generating these tax deductions, which enable us to get out of our uh, mortgage faster, is because we're investing for our future. So it's a very powerful strategy, one which um, most homeowners can implement uh, based on their condition. Do they have 20% equity? Uh, and you know, if they need to refinance, you know, qualification, income, employment history, all that stuff that typically comes along with that. But they've got this opportunity to implement the Smith Maneuver and it doesn't take any extra cash flow on a monthly basis. So it doesn't degrade their standard of living. Yeah. And, you know, and it, but it's also, and, and more importantly, it's taking a hold of your financial future and causing and creating a financial future for you and, and your family and or other generations, if that's what you so choose. Mm -hmm. And for me, that's why working with a mortgage broker is so important is because this, you know, the Smith maneuver is one part of, of what I do as a mortgage broker to help people cause and create that financial future. Because the interest rate is just an interest rate of a mortgage today and anybody can punch numbers and information into an application. But being able to truly understand and help people to understand where the opportunities of what can be done using their home to help create wealth for their future, which has never really been actively done before or expressed before or known, is huge. It's just, it's so powerful. You know, I've used the Smith Maneuver myself with my wife and I since 2005. 
when I read Fraser's book back in 2002, yeah. you know, and, and so your dad really began creating um, something powerful then. And unfortunately he passed in 2011 and now you're taking that legacy to the next level with the new book that you put out and with creating this perfect, the certified professional program. Yeah. Just a shameless plug here for a second. This is, this is the book that my dad, my dad pioneered the Smith mover back in the mid eighties. He came out with this in 2002 and I came out with my book in uh, 2019, November. Uh, and I think it's much better than my father's. <laughs> That's all I said that. But, you know, I was an investment advisor. I worked alongside my dad uh, here in Victoria, but I was an investment advisor for a dozen years. And to go back to what you were saying a bit earlier, it's a way to the Smith Maneuver to, to really start to take control of your personal finances. As an investment advisor, I saw so many people who they were reluctant to. Why? It's scary. It's boring. Uh, I'd rather watch Family Guy. I, I, I'd rather golf, do anything, but, you know, work on my personal finances. But once they take that step and, and start to, to learn the process and say, okay, I'm going to do it, then it's really an opportunity for them to take hold and take ownership. And while it might not be a hugely fun exercise, it is very empowering. And it's so important to do something to get ahead financially. And, and, you know, you're right. I mean, to that end, <clears throat> with the increasing awareness amongst Canadian homeowners of the, the strategy, the Smith Maneuver, I had seen, and so had my father many times, we've heard stories of financial professionals, whether it's mortgage brokers, investment advisors, whoever it is, putting their clients into the strategy incorrectly. And so it was very important to me as I was coming out with my book to uh, simultaneously develop a network across Canada of Smith Maneuver Certified Professionals. So as I mentioned, you're an SMCP, Smith Maneuver Certified Professional. We've got, um, we've got SMCPs across the country from coast to coast in these various professions, um, mortgage brokers, realtors, investment advisors, accountants, uh, realtors, right? And so now we've got these, this network of professionals that we can direct Canadians to, to make sure that they're implementing the strategy correctly. Because if they go to someone who's not an SMCP, that homeowner is not going to be able to tell whether that investment advisor or mortgage broker truly understands the strategy. They're pretty much just going to have to take a word for it. Well, this network of, of which you're a member, Keith, is, is a very important step for Canadians to, to not only take charge and take control of their financial future, but also to ensure they're doing it correctly with the best advice possible. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and it's and when when I found out about it, as you know, I jumped on jumped in full feet pretty yeah, quick. So, you, um, you know, it because it just it resonates for me not only with with because of the fact of that I had used it, but also because of the power that I saw in it for my clients and and being able to help them to understand that hey, not only have I used it, but I also have the support of having gone through training on it as well. And, and having access to, you you know, what's great also is questions come up. I have access to you to ask questions that may be unique to situations that we don't necessarily see all the time, but because of the number of SMPs that you talk to, you hear about different unique situations all the time yeah. and get those questions. And so we get to bounce stuff off of each other. And that makes us a even more powerful as a group and a team of um, certified professionals than we are just even as individuals in what we do. Um, day -day. Well, and that's such an important part. Me and my father, we'd sort of developed a, a, our own network of other professionals here in Victoria, just over time, we didn't consciously do it. But we found pretty quickly that, that the clients loved the fact that their investment advisor knew their mortgage broker. Uh, they they both knew the accountant and the accountant and, and the mortgage broker investment advisor knew the conveyance. I mean, all these different professionals that that the homeowner was surrounded with. It wasn't like their various professionals were siloed and didn't speak to each other, didn't know each other. All the Smith Maneuver certified professionals in relevant areas know each other. They get to communicate uh, about the client's uh, uh, file in a very efficient manner. And so it's very comforting for the, for the homeowner client. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, the Smith Maneuver with the power of wealth building that it, it causes, you know, they say, well, a bad day fishing is still a great day, but a bad day fishing where you know you're building wealth because you set yourself up the right way, that's even a better day. So, yeah. you know, I mean, that's that's the power of this. And, and you know, as much as we're, you know, the Smith Maneuver, you have to have 20% equity in your home to be able to bring this into play. 
And, you know, for some first time home buyers who are putting 5% down and stuff, you know, maybe it's not something that certainly can't be put into play for you right at that time. But having the vision and understanding that this is something in five years, this is something that you could consider putting into place for yourself. That's a huge different mental space from just going, just give me a mortgage now and let's go, you know, as, and as opposed to having a plan about, okay, if we really strategize this correct and we get this mortgage now and we know what we need to do in five years, we can also plan ahead and make sure that when we're coming up to that time, we're having the right conversations with the right people so that we can accelerate that path that we're on. Yeah, that's, that's a very good point, Keith. It's, it's not, uh, okay, I don't have 20% down, so I'm not going to look at this. It's start looking at it now because you can get best set up for success when the time comes. And for some people who may not have 20% equity, they may be close, but they think, oh, I can't do anything. I don't have 20%. There might be a way to get to 20%, which your Smith Mover certified professional, such as yourself, will be yes. able to explore and identify. Yeah, that's where some of those little uh, little special accelerators that happen yeah. to be in your book that aren't in your dad's that can come into play to just help make that happen a, a sooner rather than later. And, yeah. and certainly use we do use that with clients to to help make that happen uh, when they're you know really close and, yeah. and they just want to be able to get started. Yeah. And, you know, we're running out of time here, Keith, yeah. but I did want to round back to uh, real estate investment, which you mentioned earlier. Um, the cash flow dam accelerator you you do a lot of work in, in the real estate investment space i know that keith and you're very good at what you do and you help a lot of people get into that uh, that investment space and it's important for them to to realize that having investment property can really speed up the the rate at which you convert and generate wealth from your principal residence mortgage yeah that's what we so, did that's what yeah. we did when we set ours up we we used that cash flow dam accelerator and uh, over a period of about two years between our down payments for investment property and using the cash flow down accelerator, we, we were 100% converted over a, about a period of two years. So Yeah, yeah, it's, it's amazing. I mean, regularly, we're seeing 25-year AMs. You throw in some of the accelerators in less than 10, six, seven, eight years, something yeah. like that. So yeah. it, it really is quite powerful if you're talking to someone who understands the strategy, understands the options, the accelerators, and how best to position you. And, and I would like to say for, for anyone who's watching, it's not about rate. When we're looking at financing uh, into the right product, which is going to allow you to execute the strategy, it, it really isn't about rate. I, I'm, I'm happy to pay $150 more each month if that's going to allow me to generate $600,000 of net worth improvement, right? So, Absolutely, yeah. So yeah, the, the, the discussion really around, is around product suitability. Yeah, absolutely. It's it, there's so much more to a mortgage, mortgage than terms, and when it comes to the Smith maneuver, it's even bigger because yeah. we got to make sure it's going to work for you, and not just work for you in the type of mortgages, but work for you in your wealth growth and what yeah. your wealth growth plan is. Because not all, even not all readvanceable mortgages are created the same. They That's all have exactly their own right. nuances and they have all their own things. So we have to make sure that even in that, we're selecting the right product for you in your situation and your plan. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Well, thank you, Robinson. It was a pleasure having you uh, come and chat with me today about this. And, you know, I always love talking about the Smith Maneuver and I could talk forever on it as I know you could do. <laughs> well, Keith, it's been a pleasure. Uh, let's sign off by saying anybody who's watching this, if you've got any interest whatsoever, contact Keith. Awesome. Thank you, Robinson. You have yourself a fantastic uh, Thanksgiving. And you. Thanks, Keith.